What is it with you, Toby? Always bunking off school in the middle of the day. Why are you not in class yourself, Matthew? I'm too clever for school. <laughs> you haven't answered my question. Why should you get special permission to leave school early? You know why? Just leave me alone, Sean. Oh, yeah, those hospital appointments you go to. That just shows how much of a weedy Toby Jug you really are. Toby Jug, Toby Jug. Get off me! You still got some spirit left in the little fella, then. <laughs> Saved by your mumsy wumsy this time. But we'll be here, waiting for you tomorrow. Is everything okay, Puppet? Shall we go? Hello, Toby. Miss Adams. Hello, Dr. Keyes. So, how have you been feeling, young man? He has his good days and his bad days. Don't you, sweetheart? Well, that's to be expected. Toby. What you have here is a particularly nasty form of cancer, I'm sorry to say. We can try one more treatment of chemotherapy. But I'm afraid it might weaken our little man here too much. I can advise you on the risks and benefits of this, but ultimately you as a parent need to make that call. Miss Adams, but the prognosis is not good. <laughs> oh, look at me. Silly old sod. <laughs> hey, people always gets the better of me.
Not him, I hope. Him, neither. That time lucky. Dear Mary, I'm so sorry for all the upset and suffering I've caused you and our baby. I'm no good for you, and it is for the best that I leave the family home. I need some time to get my head together. Please take care of our son until a time comes that I feel able to contact you both. David. You nearly scared me half to death. Oh, don't be such a wuss. Charlotte Cuttington Croft, at your service. Okay, so it's Charlotte Smith, but who's complaining? That policeman was complaining for a star. Oh, him. He's no bother. I'm getting better at outrunning the police these days. So, what'd you steal? I was starving. Want one? No thanks. Handling stolen goods is just as bad as stealing them in the first place. I don't think the objects are fairly good. Mm -hmm. Yes, plenty. Why are you not at school today? I could ask you the same question. I'm on the run from my parents. I hate them. I wish they were dead sometimes. That's a bit strong. My dad's an idiot. He won't let me do anything. 
So, where are you going anyway? Sorry, but it's none of your business. Come on, I'm your friend. So where are you going? Nowhere. You don't need a map to go nowhere. Oh, you dry swallow tablets. Only when I don't have any water handy. Is that where you're going? To meet your dad? That's so sweet. So, what's wrong with you anyway? I'm dying. Oh dear. I'm so sorry. Don't be. I've had a relatively nice life. A relatively nice life. My God, how old are you? We haven't even lived yet. We're just starting out. Me on a life of crime, and you on a search for your long lost dad. £2.63. Not gonna get very far with that. Tetnon's Cross is miles from here. I was hoping to hitch a lift. Hitch a lift? I thought you were supposed to be the sensible one. Have you not seen the movie, The Hitcher? It's an 18 certificate. I want to help you. You don't have to. But I want to. Besides, if that policeman ever catches up with us, I want money for the bail. I'm sure £2.63 will do. Us? There's no us. Maybe not at the moment, but there will be. My great aunt is a witch, and I've inherited her psychic powers. Oh, please. 